Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, today I've just got a quick tip for you on powder coating. Now, for the record, I myself am brand new to the powder coating process. Um, you know, powder coating is basically a type of painting, or some would say an alternative to painting. With powder coating, you apply a coating of dry powder to an object, and then you bake the object, and the heat causes the powder to melt and flow together into a coherent layer. Uh, normally, you would apply the powder to the object using a special electrostatic spray gun, uh, where you've got your component that you want to coat, you know, grounded out electrically, and then the spray gun imparts an electrostatic charge to the particles of powder as it sprays them, and so the electrostatic uh, force causes them to cling to each other, or causes the powder to cling to the object. <clears throat> And, you know, that's what uh, causes the powder to adhere to the object until you bake it and cure the powder into a nice cohesive layer. Uh, well, for people like me who are just getting started and are too cheap to go out and buy the fancy electrostatic spray gun, there's an alternative method for powder coating small objects or small components, uh, which is usually referred to as the shake and bake method where you simply take a polypropylene container, such as this old sour cream container. Uh, polypropylene is readily identified by recycling mark number five. And polypropylene has the right electrostatic properties to build up the necessary electrostatic charge, you know, just by rubbing or sliding action. So you'd put your components in your polypropylene container, uh, add some of the uh, powder coating powder, and then you shake your container, swirl it around vigorously, uh, and the, the swirling action allows it to build up the necessary charge to make the powder stick to the objects that you're trying to coat. The big limitation of this method is the size of components that you can coat, because you know, not only are you limited by the size of your container and the size of a container that you can physically uh, pick up and swirl vigorously, uh, but as components get very big, even like a fraction of an ounce, they start to develop enough momentum during the swirling action that their collisions with each other and potentially with the walls of the container will knock off more powder than will stick from the electric uh, attraction. And so a trick that other people using this method have come up with is to put some airsoft BBs in the container with the components. And those act as kind of a buffer to cushion the collisions of the components with each other uh, and prevent them from knocking off as much powder so that you can coat somewhat larger components by this method. Um, well, I went to try that and I couldn't find any airsoft BBs locally. Uh, so I started looking at alternatives and what I actually came up with were these poly pellets, which are little beads of 100% polypropylene. Um, and so, you know, airsoft pellets are normally made from ABS plastic. So, in theory, these should actually work better because, I mean, there's still little plastic beads that'll act as a buffer and, you know, prevent components from bumping into each other as hard. But because they're polypropylene instead of ABS, they should have superior electrostatic properties and help the components to build up the necessary charge more effectively. Um, so, I've been using these, as you can see I've got a bunch of them in my sour cream container. Uh, and, you know, they seem to be working pretty well. You know, as you can see there's a few components that I've powder coated. I don't know if you can see those very well in this light. But, um, anyway, as I say, <clears throat> they seem to be working pretty well for me. Uh, I don't have any airsoft BBs to compare them to, so I haven't done a direct comparison to see if they really work better. But I thought, you know, since people on internet forums and powder coating are talking about airsoft BBs and I haven't seen them talking about poly pellets yet, uh, I just make this video to get the word out that 
These are available, and in fact, I think they're quite a bit cheaper per pound or per unit volume than Airsoft BBs are. Um, so this might be a way to improve your shake and bake powder coating process. Uh, and I just wanted to let people know about that because it's something I've been experimenting with. Uh, in any case, until next time, thank you for watching the At Owen Show.